it's ballistic ballistic beats ballistic productions.com uh so today i actually have to come back and do this intro i did a video on using the mpc in fl studio and i found that most of the video had this view when i should have had this view so i'm sitting here editing and this was supposed to be a tutorial and this is this is what came up and then when i got to the end as far as exporting that's when uh everything kind of i noticed it and i changed it so so that's my bad but i still got a nice tutorial out of it so if you have been using the mpc or plan to use the mpc in fl studio and you want to know how to get your sounds tracked out or exported from the mpc software into fl studio that's what this is going to be so um we'll get to that uh hit the subscribe button though and hit the like button because all in all this is still a nice tutorial and something that i get questions on so let's get right to that all right so now i did all my drums on track one of the mpc so what i can do now is either go up to the menu in the uh vst area go to track and explode or you can click the pencil next to track on the main page of the mpc touchscreen and then hit explode there that will separate all the uh instruments onto a different uh track by instruments i mean your drum sound so all the samples on a different track um i'm gonna choose the kick first and now I can go to the playlist in FL Studio. Um, and this is just one way to do it. It can get tedious, but um, you can also go to uh, File and Export after you explode the tracks. And then if you do a mix down, you can click Explode Tracks and it'll just uh, send basically all your drum sounds to whatever folder you want. I don't know what happened with my camera, but my bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got the kick channel selected. There's this little icon over here at the top of the grid. Uh, if you hover, you can see it says, supposed to say export audio. Bro. Export audio right there. And next to it is export MIDI. So you can get the MIDI in your DAW, whatever, if you want to. I'm gonna do audio. You click it once, it converts it, then you click it again, and you can drag it to the um, DAW. Um, but for some reason, this just keep closing. I probably can change the setting, but every time I do one, it's going to close out, and I got to go back in. So I'm on the next track. Click it, drag it over. Next track. Click export audio, drag it in. MPC. Hitting track plus on the uh, MPC touchscreen. Next track, export. So yeah, you're gonna do that for each one. It may seem like a lot, but if you think about how people had to track stuff out back in the day, really ain't nothing to complain about. And that's it. So I can grab this pattern, go on and split that. Boom. And now I got all these separated. Just drop those in there. And they uh, export it with a little bit of extra, but it's not a problem. Just grab your blade, cut that, delete them and I got an extra pad I hit. All right, here we go. I'm actually gonna go in here and turn the NPC all the way down and mute it because I'm done with it for now. And all those drums is audio.
all right so i'm gonna stop with that for now um i think that came out pretty good uh especially for like just a quick tutorial type of thing too um i got a couple other of these npc fl studio videos that you can check out i don't know why i did that <laughs> you can check out uh in the thing at the top of the screen the little card um let me know if you have any questions i try to respond to as many as i can for a while or even my old videos um so yeah check out some other stuff too while you're here if you haven't if you're new um hit the subscribe button if you old and you've been checking stuff out and you haven't yet hit the subscribe button it's for everybody i got a lot of stuff that i'm trying to do i'm trying to see what everybody want to do because as i started to grow a little bit which i'm still small <laughs> um everybody wants something different so let me know what you want to see in the comments or hit me up on my social or whatever um oh i'm almost to 2000 um when i get to 2000 i'm definitely gonna do a giveaway i want to give away like a akai mpk mini mark three i was gonna do it before but i started approaching 2000 so i think that'll be a good milestone giveaway um so hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that um i ain't gonna really got too much else to say about this so yeah y'all hold it down stay safe like always and until next time